to our afternoon. More sunshine here in Denver and skies will clear out east here pretty soon. Coming up, a look at just how windy it's going to get tomorrow ahead of our next Sunday cold front. Wednesday. Welcome back. Uh, the Women's Chamber of Commerce uh, 25 Most Powerful Women event is coming up and you have less than a week to submit your nominations. Uh, Colorado Women's Chamber President and CEO Kristen Blessman is joining me. Thanks for being here, Thanks, Kristen. Nicole. Thanks for having me. So we're going to we're going to get 25 more women added to yes. the Hall of Fame this year. What does it mean to be a powerful woman here? What are we looking at? Right. Well, in in Colorado and what the Women's Chamber thinks is a powerful woman is usually a woman in business who advocates for other women. So she has to be passionate about promoting women in business, um, a visionary leader, someone that really believes that women should be in that highest level of leadership, mm -hmm. which is something that, you know, only 17% of women nationally are CEOs. Wow. So we want to show women and young girls examples of women accomplishing the highest levels of leadership. Yeah, and, and people are, are submitting their nominations right now. What yes. kind of qualities would they be looking for so, in some of their colleagues? So yeah. we want somebody who's very active in our community. So someone that, you know, volunteers or sits on a board of a nonprofit that helps women and children get out of poverty and find self-sufficiency. We want a visionary leader, someone who advocates for other women. Um, CEOs are great because then that shows women and young girls that they can get to mm -hmm. that position of power. But it doesn't have to be a CEO. Someone that takes risks, dives in, starts their own business, Women are generally risk averse, so we like to see women that nice. you know jump in and make it happen. So those are some good, yes, yeah, yes. Great, those great are great choice. qualities. Awesome. And you have until next Wednesday to yes. submit your nominations on the CWCC.org website. Right. That the, that's the Colorado Women's Chamber. Uh, why is it important, do you think, again, to, to recognize women who are in these roles? I think it's important because, again, there's not enough examples of women in leadership. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to see that. We need to be able to mirror that type of leadership. And so when we can see other women doing it and making it happen, it makes us strive to do that as well. And yeah. so we hope with these 25 women that they're great examples in our community of women really making that happen. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to share the names with you guys when those come out to us. Kristen Blessman, thanks for being Thank you. here today. Thanks. I nominate Lisa Hidalgo. You have a little business, yeah. right? I do, You're an actually. entrepreneur. I do. Yeah. I have a little t-shirt business. You're right, <laughs> I do. Um, not a big CEO, but that's all right. <laughs>